Hello, today I'm going to show you how to do a French knot. These are French knots here and I'm using this thread which is DMC and it is cotton pearl which is a bonded thread. It's not separable like stranded cotton and it's thickness number five which is the middle thickness. There are three thicknesses in this thread and because it's bonded and you can't separate it it's really good for doing things like French knots because it doesn't separate as you're sewing. So I'm using that. I have secured my um, thread because I've just been sewing actually, so it's fine, it's in there. But I do put a knot at the end when I'm starting just to secure it. So to do this, I will show you, you come from back to front. Now normally with a French knot, you rotate the thread around the needle twice and insert it back in from where it came. But because I'm using this thicker thread, I think it's much more, well, it's much nicer to just do it once um, because it's thick enough. So I'm going to rotate it round the needle once and I'm going to insert it back quite close to where it came out. But the golden rule to remember with French knots is I'm right handed. So in my left hand, you might notice I have tight hold of this thread. So I'm supporting it as I'm pulling with my other hand the thread through and I'm still supporting it, still supporting it, still supporting it at the last second let it go. There we go. Don't pull it too tight if you're working with felt because it might plop through and you might end up with a hole. So just pull it for as much as you need um, and here we go again. So from the back to the front, like I say if you want to do a bigger one you can put it twice round the needle. But um, I'm just going to do it once because I want a nice, neat French knot. So I've wrapped it. I'll just do it again. So I take that in my left hand because I am right handed and I wrap that around the needle once and I insert it back close to where it came out. And I'm supporting all the time. Tight hold of this. Don't ever let it go. If you do, it will not. And it, uh, yes, it will be a mess. <laughs> So right to the end, support it and then let it go. Let's just do one more. So through from the back. Keep this tight hold in my left hand, round the needle once, back in, keeping tight hold, pull it through, support it all the way and then let it go into that nice little knot. And as you can see, lovely very tactile you can create a lot of decoration and detail great for flower heads and things like that for natural subjects and that's a french knot okay bye for now